And bragging rights for best tasting water were on the line today at an international water tasting competition in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. The district was an early loser after its bottled samples arrived by overnight delivery broken. Another entrant fared better as Fox 5's J.J. Green reports from the Toast of the Tap competition. There's nothing like a nice, cool drink of water. And seeing as how water is a $3 billion a year business in this health-conscious age of ours, it's only natural that competition would spring up. And today, samples of water from all over the world were evaluated by a panel of novice judges. They were taught to look for the finer qualities of water by self-appointed watermeister Arthur von Wiesenberger. You have about 100,000 taste buds in your tongue. And each one uh, can perceive different elements of saltiness, sweetness, sourness, and bitterness. And you'll be trying to taste uh, what flavor impacts you're getting from your water. What these judges have to do is check the color. They have to sniff the water. And of course, they have to drink it. There were 27 municipal entries, 33 non-carbonated entries, and 13 samples of sparkling water from the U.S., Germany, France, and Italy. Some of the judges come up with some pretty interesting impressions of the water. Competition organizer J.W. Rohn can vouch for that. Septic smell, it tastes like sewer water, those are things. But the more unique ones are things like it tastes like sucking on a wet Band-Aid. Some of them say the water is sweet, like the water from the Brickhouse Farm in Ellicott City, voted best non-carbonated bottled water last year. Owner Tom Taro says, he put his water through some rigorous spring training to get it ready to defend its title. I did the same as I did last year. Put it in the bottle, filled the bottle up, and put it here. <laughs> Winners of the contest get a trophy and some pretty lucrative bragging rights. In Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, J.J. Green, Fox News. And winners in the contest for Best Municipal Water, Kent, Ohio, and for Best Non-Carbonated Bottled Water, Sweet Springs Natural Mountain Water from Gap Mills, West Virginia. And congratulations to all of them. And the district water can <laughs> broken <laughs> well, bottle. Oh, they, well. got enough, they have enough. <laughs> yeah. uh, they did this big survey around the country, and they found that Kent, Ohio, had the best tasting water in the United States. Well, we, we're not one ever to... Uh, well, just to take these things for verbatim, we wanted to check it ourselves. We sent our own Ed Hall, our announcer, to Kent, Ohio, with a camera and a few other people. Did it the cheapest way possible, of course. We had them bring some Burbank water, and, 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 and we went there to see if it really is the best tasting water, and maybe they could try our water, and maybe we could do like a sister city thing. Here's Ed in Kent, Ohio. You know, the water here in Kent may taste really good, but the pressure stinks. <laughs> Kent, Ohio is, of course, the home of Kent State University. And you know, these college kids just can't get enough of this water. Take a look. I know you guys have the best tasting water, you know, and all that, but I want you to try some Burbank water. Would you do that? Yeah. Yeah? That'd be great. Here, here's a little for you. Just a sip, you know, swish it around your palate. What do you think? Hi, I was just wondering if you wanted to try some of our Burbank water. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't blame you. Do you have any Kent water that I could have? Because I'm kind of thirsty. No, I don't think you so. Could... Okay. Hey, you! We got some water. Yeah? taking this Burbank water to the mayor and uh, you know, it doesn't look so good so I thought you know what I'd do is is just take one of these bottled waters and, and put our own Burbank Springs label on it I just, just want to keep that between okay, you and that's me that's right. okay you want to try some of this uh, no Burbank? thank you now bottle A I'm filling with the real Kent water bottle B I've already filled with the real Burbank Springs water and bottle C I figured we'd fill with a little soda to throw her off a bit. Okay, I'm here with uh, Mayor Kathleen Chandler, and we're going to find out now if you know the difference between your award-winning water and our water from Burbank and one other water. Okay, you ready for the test? Yes, I am. She's trying A. Mm. 
Would you like to clear your palate with a little sugar? I would, yeah. yes. <laughs> She's trying B now. Hmm. And now C. Mm. Well, I don't think I'd want to drink this one every day. No? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can rule out this You're gonna one. You're going to rule out C. I think it's A. A is oh, your I'm sorry to hear that. We found this toxic material out in the parking lot. Are you responsible for bringing this into our city? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, Jay actually asked me to bring Take that. Take him away. But, you know, it's Jay. Mayor, can you do something? Ohio, your mama. Is it from, is it from the folks of Camp Ohio? Ohio. Okay. That's a real thing. All right, Bob. Let's try some here. You want to let it breathe. There you go. All our guests tonight will be drinking water from Kent, Ohio. We'll try it on Kathy. Right back with Kathy Ireland right after this.